skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies. If any of you think you may be interested, you can stop by our table at the end of the show. At the end of the show, you'll get a bag just like this, and we will have this handout with magic boomerang illusion on it. You're more than welcome to pick one of those up. Um, this year, the International Brotherhood of Magicians celebrated their 100th anniversary with a huge party and even cake. We made a replica of that cake. It's a big, bit bigger than the one that they had at the party. But the International Brotherhood of Magicians was started in 1922 as one of the largest magic organizations in the world. We have over 13,000 members worldwide, over 300 local groups, and rings over 73 countries. There's even an online ring called Ring 2100. So let's get started with what we hope will be the first of many surprises tonight.
Mother creeps and leaps and glides and slides across the floor, right through the door. Just like this. 
<laughs> and now the red one, put the red one down in here. Okay, and now the green one, put the green one in here. I say green because I can't say green. <laughs> what? No, I say green because I can't say green. No, I say never. Put the yellow one down in there. All right, poke them down in here, just like this. Put them really tight. Now rub the pen under my hand. Now, Vega, what I want you to do is blow on my hand. No, don't spit. <laughs> Parents here? Where are they? Okay, I got your number. All right, I'm sorry, one more time. Blow them in. There we go. Can you see all that magic color?
The other side? Davison Magic Ring 36. Give it up for them and their tests. <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we have finally perfected our invinci invincibility elixir. Number 36. Well, I sure hope it's better than formulas 1 through 35. Me too. Not like it's good for a math subject. Yeah. <laughs> now, just one drink from this powerful elixir will turn any human invincible and impervious to pain. 
Now, what we need now is just a test subject. Let me introduce Ellie, our test, test subject. Before we get going with Ellie, though, we need to make some uh, warnings, like anything before you try and do it. This may cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dry mouth, toothache, epidemic, discomfort, stomach discomfort, fatigue, pain, dizziness, uh, tremors, anxiety, restlessness, cough, laughter, excitement, applause, increased heart rate, blood pressure, sweating, high blood pressure, temperature often followed by chills and shivering, and loss of urinary Urinary control. But you'll be invincible. You'll be you will invincible. be invincible. Go ahead, Ellie, sign right here. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right. Let me just open this up. Dr. Wayne, can you help me out? Sure. Uh, Dr. Kevin. Give me a try. It's already working. <laughs> All right. How do you feel? Different. All right. Now we must conduct a series of tests to see if the elixir has worked. You will have a seat right here. Now what I'm going to do is place, I want you to hold on to these two hands, place this around your neck. Place this box on your head. Okay. I'm going to open the doors. Everybody say hi, Ellie. Hi. Look to your left. Look to your right. All right. Smile like you want to be here. Okay. Now for the first arrow. Arrow number one. No. Oh, I was scared. <laughs> For the next arrow. Next arrow. Ellie, do you have pierced ears? You do? You're gonna have a few more after this. <laughs> and maybe a nose too. <laughs> oh, right here. Thank you. Another one. Uh, Ellie, don't drink any water after this, okay? Arr. And another one. And one more. You know what? That's enough. I think one more would be crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this works. Look to your left. Look to your right. What happened? She's an airhead. 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 Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You're going to clean them off for the next time.
Thank you very much. That was, that was pretty <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> Ellie, I think we need to try using this stainless steel razor sharp vegetable cutter. Just to ensure that you are invisible. If I could just have you step right over here, put your arm through there, we'll lock it in there. Just so in case it does chop through your arm, it doesn't go flying into the audience. Put a couple of pair of legs. Oh, wait a minute, you can take your arm off and you gotta bring the blade up. Sorry about that. There, now put the arm in. There we go. Lock it in good and tight. Couple of vegetables up here just to test the blade itself. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. Cut the carrots. Oh, see. Another successful pass. The arm's good. Very good. We're good. Convinced our elixir has worked. I think we have to do the final ultimate test. The ultimate test. The ultimate test. I can't say it. How about it? 
second word, uh -huh. drink, no. beverage, no. wine, no. juice, yes. first word, uh -huh. bug, no. ant, no. beetle, yeah. beetle juice, One. rest. And all you gotta do is say my name three times. Three times in a row it must be spoken unbroken. Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Beetle juice. Two. Very good. 
Take this in your left hand. Take it in your left hand. There's a hand, put it up on your forehead so you can receive those messages. Crank away. <laughs> Got it now. I think you've got it. All right. Good job. You're feeling it, I can tell. Here's the other half of the deck. You ready? Concentrate. Concentrate. Put your finger on any one card you think is going to be the one. What were you going to leave? Wait. Okay, turn and look at the audience. Put this up against your belly so no one can see it. All right. Hand me your card without showing anybody. Hand me your card without showing anybody. Let's see how they did. Give them a big hand. It matches perfectly. I think you want to see the other side. You want to see the other side? Oh, you don't want to see the other side. Do you? They did it.
short and dancing a dangerous mix, I must say. Give it up again. All right, folks. As much as it pains me, I must say that this is the end of our show. For ten minutes. We will be having a brief intermission where cookies and water will be available in the lobby for one dollar. And did I say ten minutes? Well, we're trying out this new thing where intermissions are as long as you want them to be. The only problem is that you might miss some of the show, so it's kind of a balancing act. But enjoy yourselves, and we will see you again very soon.
stomach. Ready? Who's ready? He can't hear a thing. Come on.
comedians are a dime a dozen. It's hard to find good clothes anymore. You know, they just don't make stuff like they used to. Is that your 
car. <laughs> you big hack. <laughs> Let's go. 
and told us that someone else has won the opportunity to come up and be a magician's assistant tonight. Is there someone in the audience by the name of Nicole Ferguson? Would you please come up here? She's backstage. Where is Nicole? Backstage. She's backstage. Right there. There she is. She's backstage. Aha. You would stand right there for me. Hi, Nicole. My name is Rick. Good to meet you. Say hi to Nicole. And Nicole, have you ever been on stage with a magician? Excuse me. Yes, I've come to some of your shows one time I got called up before, not by you though. Ah, see? <laughs> now, what they may not have told you is to be a magician's assistant, there's three very important rules. The first of which is you have to face front because you don't want to turn your back on the audience if you can help. The second is you've got to smile. You have a very pretty smile and it makes them think you're having fun. Oh, okay, good. And lastly, and most importantly, you never ever question the magician. No. Okay, good. Oh, there's one other thing. The audience has to know when we're done, when it's time for them to cheer and applaud wildly. And we do that using something they used to do in vaudeville years ago, known as the ta-da. So on the count of three, we're going to go one, two, three, ta-da. And when you do, the audience is going to clap and cheer wildly. So let's try this out and see how it works. Ready? One, two, three. That's the first time I've ever had to make the audience do it twice. Really good job. Okay, Nicole, do you like fire tricks? Yes. Wonderful. We're going to do a rope trick. <laughs> We have a piece of rope here, regular standard type piece of rope. You examine that. That's enough. Okay, here, here. Looks really real. Looks real. It is real. It's real. No, that's in the Middle East, it's true. Also, the pair of scissors. Hey. Don't run with them. Now we're going to try to make this simple for you, so I'm going to explain as we go along. Every piece of rope has two ends. We're going to call this end A, we're going to call this end B. So if we have A and B, this becomes C or the middle, either way, however you'd like to do it, okay? Now what I'd like you to do is to cut the rope right there, right in the middle, just like that. Wonderful. So, now what we're going to do, follow carefully. I'm going to take end B and bring it up next to B. I'm going to take the other end of A and bring it up next to A. Then we're going to take loop A and bring it over A and B. Then we're going to take loop B and bring it over A and B. Then we're going to take this whole thing like this and bring it over here. Um. <laughs> you look confused. Here, let's start again. This is N A, this is B. B, very good. And this is middle or middle C if you're a magician or a musician. Okay, we'll take this and pull it up here if we would, and if you would just cut that right there for me. Right there. Wonderful. Now, what's really important about this is these two ends have to be exactly the same length. Now they're not quite. They're close, but they're not quite. So if you would, just grab them here, and if you would, just trim those ends for me. Trim it very carefully. Good, right? You're doing a pretty good job on it. Okay. For the last time, this is A, this is B, this is? See, you got, now you got it, see? Okay, you cut it right there again. Now, we're going to take these two ropes and we're going to tie them together. We're going to tie a knot in them like this. We're even going to tie another knot in it to make it nice and tight. Okay. 
okay? Now, we cut the root three times, so we're going to actually make a couple of them. We're going to take another one like this. And if you would, I'm going to ask you to cut it right there between the fingers. Watch the fingers. Ow! <laughs> two knots, two's company, three's a crab. We need one more. We're going to put one more on here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. Put it right there. And if you would, again, just cut it right there for me. Oh! Very good. Okay, give me the scissors back in case you don't like the rest of the trick. <laughs> now we have a rope here with three knots in it. Most people know that magicians have magic fingers. They don't always know that magicians also have magic breath. What? And simply by doing this, I can confer the magic breath to you. And in a moment, you're going to take that magic breath, you're going to blow on this rope, and all three knots are going to fly off. Would that be cool? That would be really cool. So I'm going, to hold this, I'm going to hold this up in front of you, and you're going to go across there when I tell you on the count of three. Okay? okay? And we're going to blow them all off. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Well, that, that's not bad. You, you got two out of three for a beginner. That's pretty good. Here, hold that. Blow it again. Just, if I was not, I'd be gone by now. Okay, here, try it here. <laughs> now, that's not going to do. I'll tell you what. You take this home with you. Put it under your pillow. Make a wish. And when you wake up in the morning, you'll have a knot under your pillow. <laughs> and there's only one more thing we've got to do. Because we're at the end. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Now for our next trick, I'm going to need another assistant. So I'm going to bring out a special assistant for you. I'm going to bring out and introduce Clinker the Clown. And now for a very quick trick. A very quick trick. A trick using this bottle. And this glass. And these tubes. To begin, I cover the bottle with the tube like so. Then, I cover the glass with the tube like so. Now in a moment, the glass is going to disappear from here, make its way over to the other side of the stage, while the bottle... I thought I had a bottle. Really? Really? Never mind. Never mind. Start again? Start again. This is a very quick trick. Very quick trick. A trick using this bottle, and this glass. And these tubes. I cover the bottle like so. Then I cover the glass like so. Momentarily, the glass will leave this side of the stage and reappear on that side of the stage. While the bottle. I swore I had a bottle. Oh, really? Never mind. Never mind. Start again? Start again. This is a very quick trick. Really quick. A trick using this bottle. And this glass. And this tube. I cover the bottle like so. <laughs> yeah. 
And then come the glass, like so. And what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Show me your hand. Okay. See? Nothing. The other hand. Both hands at the same time. This is a very quick trick. A very quick trick. A trick using this bottle, this tube, this glass. We cover the bottle like so. Yes. And Clinker the Clown will not touch the tube. I promise. I promise I will not touch the tube. I cover the glass, like so. Start again for a very quick trick. A trick involving this bottle, this tube, and this glass. And now for a very quick trick.
Where is everybody? I told them to be here. Told them to be here. If we don't rehearse, we can't perform at the assembly tomorrow. Assembly tomorrow. Charlie Brown! He already lost his hand for us last night. Charlie Brown, you're a loser. Linus! Linus! And a loser. Lucy! Give me back my pets, you blockhead! No! You're late. What'd you say about me, Linus? He said, Lucy! Stop that! Sorry I'm late. I was just... There's no time to be sorry. What did he say? Quiet! Now remember, this is a mood piece. We must paint a picture with music and words. And concentrate!
today for you. I got hope. Contra's Club Ring 36 is a local ring of the International Brotherhood of Magicians located in Flint, Michigan. If you are local and would like to join us, please send us a message on Facebook. The link is in the description below. If you're not local but would like to learn the art of magic, go to www.magician.org to find your local IBM ring. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss videos from us. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.